What's up, YouTube? This is the Headphone Jedi, and I'm here to talk about the gray Sennheiser HD 579 headphone. It's normally $180. I picked it up on Cyber Monday for $99! Woohoo! And I was really excited to get this headphone. I've had all the other Sennheiser 500 series headphones, and I wanted to see how this one matched up with some of the others that I have had and currently have. Now, this headphone is an open back headphone. It's going to leak sound. It's plastic in build quality. It's got an open back grill. It's got a badge across the earpiece, unlike the other Sennheiser headphones I had, but it doesn't affect the sound quality or muffle it or close it in in any way. The gray velour earpieces are comfortable, but they will get wet and moist if you exercise while wearing this headphone. The pleatherette headband is comfortable. The cable is user replaceable. I took out the quarter inch cable and put in the three fifths millimeter so I could use it with mobile devices. Now this headphone is very neutral in sound quality. Neutral, nice tight bass, not boosted or bloated or muddy in any way. The mid-range is crystal clear. The voices sound like they're in the room with you and not coming over a speaker. And the treble is articulate and detailed. It is not recessed and it is not elevated. This headphone is the line. It is clear and it doesn't sound veiled in any way. When you compare it with the Sennheiser HD 598 Special Edition, they sound very similar, but the HD 598 is elevated in the upper bass and forward in the mid-range and richer and lusher sounding, whereas the 5... It's it's subtle difference because they do sound very similar, but the 579 is definitely more neutral and the veil is not there. It's more clear. Now, the the headphone sounds at acceptable volumes when you connect it to a cell phone, and it's neutral sounding. Bass heads probably won't like it because it's neutral, but when you plug it into an Oppo headphone amplifier 2SE or something like that, the sound is transformed. The bass becomes very impactful. The sub bass is there. The mid-range is even more lifelike. The treble is even more detailed. And another thing I like about the Sennheiser HD 579 compared to the Sennheiser HD 598, is the 598 has a lot of distortion when you mate it with a stereo receiver. You really can't turn the volume up because you can hear the driver knocking inside the cup and a lot of distortion. They took care of that problem with the updated 500 series. The 579 can hold up very well. I mean, obviously you don't want to turn it up all the way, but it holds up a lot better, I think, than the 598. So if you're going to use a headphone amplifier, I would recommend getting the HD 579. If you're only going to use it with a phone and you already have the 598, you probably need not apply. You could probably stay with the 598, even though it is a little bit lusher sounding. Now, compared to the HD 598 closed, which is equal to the Sennheiser HD 569, this headphone is a little bit richer sounding and it's got more... It's got less impedance, so it'll sound louder on a cell phone. And it's more enjoyable with pop music if you're not using an amplifier with that one. But there's a little more distortion in the bass. This is less distortion. Sennheiser HD 600, this is obviously higher fidelity. It can handle louder volumes even better than this headphone. And the impact will make your eyes blink when, with the HD 600 when you have it connected to either that stereo receiver or my Valhalla 2 tube amplifier. But as far as clarity of sound, the HD 579 is actually clearer than the HD 600, even though the HD 600 wins as far as fidelity and dy dynamic, dynamic sound. HD 650 is even warmer than the HD 600, and also it's very dynamic, but I've learned to really like and appreciate the Sennheiser HD 579 as far as its clarity, and you can, with the good amplifier, still have that dynamic sub bass without having the overly warm sound of the 650. So I think the Sennheiser HD 579, I'm gonna keep it, it's not going back to the store. Because I was thinking I'll keep it for a little while and 
that's it. But no, it's going to stay in my repertoire. I really like it. And so I recommend it very much. This is the headstone.